history emanate from these pumps. So said Ralph Vaughan Williams. <laughs> It's an overcast day today, but it's very muggy. It's going to be about 35, 36 degrees Celsius tomorrow. So, um, but we're in Brockham, village in Brockham. I've been here many times. And we're taking a little walk up to Brockham Lime Works and the quarry there. It's a very short walk, but it's pleasant. I did a video with Richard Vose, the Board Explorer from Brockham Quarry. Um, <clears throat> so I thought uh, I'll take it with me. Let's go. History emanate from these pumps. So I said Ralph Vaughan Williams, one of my favourite composers. got the large village green which is famous for its fireworks every year and uh, lovely buildings as we cross this bridge a thought just popped into my head this was the very first shot we did for Ravenswood my movie Ravenswood with Gary Andrews coming over, there's Nick Frost with his, with his dog. That was for a teaser trailer, it wasn't in the film, it was for a teaser trailer. Yeah. We've just come down to the river's edge by Borough Bridge. There's a little tunnel and a little walk through. Overflow, I think, yeah. It'll be a long time since it's been uh, overflow. Let's go. Why is Brockham Big Field? It's just a field. Why are they owned by the National Trust? What's special about it? Does anyone know? It's just a sports field. It's owned by the National Trust, so. Hmm. To give you an idea of where we're going, we're heading up there, a Spectrath quarry in the distance, and uh, we're going to go to Brocken Quarry and Lime Works. Okay, we've crossed the busy A25, Dorking is that way, Brygate and Betchworth is that way. I'm going to go up this uh, private road, Chalk Pit Lane, the clues in the name, Chalk Pit Lane. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much to the gentleman who stopped me walking up Chalk Pit Lane. And I seem to have lost sound on this clip as well, so sorry about that. But there's no access to the line works now through the cottage um, up this private road. So you just need to walk around a little bit uh, opposite the road down to Brockham and there's a pathway up to the Pilgrim's Way. So let's go. So there we go. We can go up through here and pick up the Pilgrim's Way at the top, I hope. Lovely field of barley. It's going to be harvested soon. Okay. Check that out. I didn't know there was a World War II pillbox here and I've walked past this place so many times. So gun emplacement on the top. So many of these scattered along the North Downs. There's loads in Surrey, especially on the North Downs way, which we're on. How about that? And here it is. The remains of Brockham Lime Works, a huge industry uh, in the Dorking area and Rygate area. 
for hundreds of years but really hit its peak in sort of late Victorian uh, period. Yeah, look at the old building, it's all scaffolded up unfortunately, you can't really see much and it's all overgrown. There's a well there. All the kilns here are grade two listed. Imagine all the activity here in sort of late in the Victorian and early 20th century. The train tracks bringing uh, and taking away the um, the goods. This is really our industrial past. I know it's a lot of work, but it's a shame they can't turn it into a museum or something. I know it's a bit off the beaten track to get to. Of the guy who's watching who helped me with the directions, thank you very much. We got here in the end. Yeah, it wasn't a direct route, but it was still pretty easy. So much quarrying in this area. So much quarrying. But nature's uh, taking it back. Yeah. And that was the permissive footpath, but obviously not anymore because there's a big gate at the end apparently. And you can't go through there. Apparently the chap had a problem with people letting their dogs off the lead, which is fair enough, I suppose. So basically, if you're coming up here, go via the Pilgrim's uh, Way. If you go opposite the road down to Brockham, there's a trackway that goes up over a bridge, over the railway bridge, and then onto the Pilgrim's Way and the North Downs Way. Yeah. Yeah, the industry stopped here in 1936. Since then, the deep scar in the landscape has gradually been reclaimed by nature, as I just said, yeah. yeah. The remains of the kilns still stand and now provide a winter roost for at least eight species of bats. Let's have a quick look at uh, Brockham Quarry. You can see why our ancestors used the north ridges of the North Downs when they first came over from mainland Europe. I mean, chalk is very sturdy to walk on. And uh, all these tracks I've said before, North Downs Way, uh, South Downs Way, the Old Way, all sort of traverse and end up around Avebury, which is very interesting. Yes, that chalk. The amount of species now that habitat here is incredible. I'll say you know, nature's reclaimed itself. Check that out, a little tunnel. Reminiscence from our industrial past. <laughs> I wonder how far that went back. I feel spots of rain. Not supposed to rain today. Mm, okay. The BBC used these quarries quite a lot in the 1970s and 1980s. And Betchworth Quarry, over there, that was used as exteriors for the planet Scaro in the classic uh, 1975 Doctor Who story, Genesis of the Daleks. As a battle-worn Scaro. It was much more chalk then, as opposed to being a wildlife area. And here in Brockham Quarry, uh, the BBC filmed the 1976 Doctor Who story with Tom Baker, The Deadly Assassin. I think this part here was the old railway where he's being threatened in the Matrix by Chancellor Goff. Sorry, Doctor Who fan. Um, yeah, I think this is the old, the old railway along here. A little, I don't know, gauges of railway, but it's a very small railway. Uh, I think the trains were lent from Amberley Museum. Yeah, that was a very eerie story. To watch as a child <laughs> back away when we were impressionable. Gosh, imagine showing someone Game of Thrones back in 1975. So there you go, a little trip from Brockham up to Brockham Quarry and the Lime Works. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please like, subscribe, please leave a comment if you know any more about this area. And it's fun. I'm sure it's going to be. Uh, Glorious weather tomorrow, so we're going to hopefully go on an adventure then. Until next time, take care.